Once you've created your new site, it's time to start inserting or adding materials. So again, like almost anything in Google, there's a few ways to do this. The first is to use this side panel over here and you click on this insert. You notice right away you have a few different options. You can insert text, images, anything from your Google Drive, or you can embed links. Google does give you some format layouts over here, just a few options. Um, if you wanna use them, you're more than welcome to. And then down here, it gives you a few other different like things you might be able to use, YouTube videos, calendars, maps, slides, uh, whatever you might do. So for, for our purposes, most of you will probably be doing text boxes, images, and things from your drive. So we're gonna look here in text box. You just click on the text. And again, it's a little limited, right? So you could do a title, you could do a heading. So maybe you give your uh, welcome message and then it'll go right away to this little insert text and then you can type your message here. Uh, you can bold or italicize, you can center it or not. There are bullets and lists, but, but again, the fonts are limited here. Um, that's just one of the drawbacks. If you want to resize your text box, maybe you want it smaller, you want to split the panels, you can. And you notice guide bars show up, all right? So now you have your little text box over here. You can change the background, of what it looks like. So that's kind of cool. Just different things you might, you might want to look at, all right? And now you can also, as I said, insert images. So you can upload an image right from your Google Drive or, for, excuse me, from your computer, or you can select an image. Again, you can go from your albums, your Google Drive, or you can search things, right? So maybe I'm gonna search a welcome sign. And then I'll see, put my welcome sign in here. Right, and you can crop, crop your images. You can make them a little smaller. You can uncrop them. Um, you can link add links to other things, both your pictures and your words if you want to. If you don't like the, the layout, you can change it by dragging it. You can undo, a right. couple things there. Now, you could also, one of the things you'll probably do from time to time is from your Google Drive, add documents. So you can go right through your drive and you can look at everything you've been doing here. Uh, or if you go to uh, recents, maybe if it's something you just recently made, you can add anything just by clicking on uh, whatever you want here, whatever you want to add. So let's I'll put this little project in here, all right? Now, one thing that I warn students um, or all of you is that people tend to get freaked out here. If you notice, this is small. So I can drag it and resize the window. However, I'll tell you, this document is multiple pages long and there's no scroll bar right now. The scroll bar comes when I publish a site. We'll talk about that. I'll show you how to do that a little later. So don't freak out. Right. Last thing you can do, one, one little tip, um, instead of using the sidebar over here, you can click, double click anywhere on your screen and you get this little wheel where here, you know, you can add an embedded code. You can upload something, text, images, drive, same type of options.